Okay, so um, I'm going to show you how to um, use Python to do a Monte Carlo calculation of the uh, uncertainty. Okay, so I'm not necessarily going to do this the best way. Uh, I'm going to do it the way that maybe will make the most sense to you. So um, let's just get started. So we're not going to we're going to use the visual module but we're not going to use all of it. We're just going to use the graphing part because and you don't have to do this. But So I can say from visual uh, dot graph import. Can't type. Okay. And then I'm also going to need the random module. So I'm going to say from random. There. Okay. So now in this case, let me, let me write down what we're going to do. We're going to say we have a box or whatever and it has a, a length of 3.1 plus or minus uh, 0.1 I wrote this stuff down so and a width of I just made these things up 2.57 oops 2.57 plus or minus uh, 0.04 so, so that's my data and I want to calculate the area and, and of course area equals uh, length times width that's what we're going to do okay so but we want to do this a whole bunch of times Okay, so let me go ahead and, and uh, declare some variables, and maybe my names aren't the best. Average L, this is going to be the L value, the, the, not yeah, the average of the distribution, 3.1, and then the standard deviation of that, uh, I'll call STL, just to my convention will be the same, 0 0.1, and then I'll do the same for the width, average width equals 2.57, and then the, oops, Got the W, and then the standard deviation of the W of the width is going to be the value up there is 0 0.04. Um, okay, now in order to plot things, I'm going to need to make uh, some lists. Uh, so let me go ahead and say L. L is just an empty list for the length. W is an empty list for the the width, and A is the empty list for the um, for the area. Uh, and then I'm going to need to make a histogram. I don't have to, but I want to. So let me call the histogram just um, a histo, and there's a function in the visual graph module uh, called g histogram. And so <clears throat> in this, you you need to declare. So a histogram is counting the same number. How many of a particular item appears? How many times? So you need to call it to to create the bins and the bins are how big are those spaces where you put things in and if that doesn't make sense it's no big deal we can talk about it later uh, so I'm going to use this arrange function from it's not part of visuals part of something else but it's in there and I'm going to say go from 0 to 10 and in bin increments of 0.1 so my my um, Area is going to be on the order of you know six, seven ish. Okay, so zero to ten should be big enough. Um, I can always change this later. Okay, but that's my histogram. There's nothing in there yet. Okay, how many data points do I want? I'm going to say a thousand. Let me say ten thousand. Why not go ten thousand? There's no reason, right? Okay, so now what I want to do is go through ten thousand times, and I want to do do several things. I want to pick a normal a value from a normal distribution for the length and for the width multiply them together and get the area and save all those values. So I'm going to say 4, and this isn't necessarily the best way to do it, uh, in, in range, in. Okay, so this says do a loop in times, I don't even need that in, but uh, the range says how, how many times to do, to do the calculation, and so I'm going to call it in. Okay, I'm going to call LT my temp, temporary length, and if you, there's a function called Gauss that pulls numbers from a Gaussian or normal distribution. You have to give it two things, the average of the distribution and the standard deviation. So my average is just average L and my standard deviation is STL. And I can do the same thing for the width. Width equals Gauss average W STW. Let me go ahead and calculate a an area for those two. It's just going to be LT times WT. Now I want to save all this stuff. So I'm going to say L equals L plus LT. 
I'm adding LT to the list. Okay, so it was empty before, but now I have one after this first loop, I'll have one in there. Same for W. If you leave off this W equals W plus WT, then it'll just add, it'll replace that with just one item. You, you don't want to do that. Trust me. Uh, and then A equals A plus AT. Okay, so there I, I, I'm finished with my loop. Now we can do some stuff. Um, first, I could, I could plot. I could plot, make a plot of the area, the distribution of the area. So A histo dot plot data equals A. That's it. Um, <clears throat> let me do some other things. Uh, let me calculate the average. Uh, I can't... Hold on one second. Why did I forget the average? Oh, it's mean. Okay. So I'm just going to say, I want, I want the mean and the standard deviation of that area calculation. So I'm going to say, uh, print the mean of that list A and print the standard deviation, which is STD of A. There. Now I'm going to save and run, and everything will work because it always works. Okay. Here's the histogram. So you see, this is the areas. Um, the average is around, uh, what's that, 9, 8. Okay. But you can see it is a normal distribution. That's good. Okay. And then right here, you can see it printed my uh, average of 7.966, blah, blah, blah and the standard deviation of 0.28. So you may want to report this as 7.97 plus or minus 0.28. That would probably be a good way to, to produce that. All right.